welcome back to the channel today we will be going over the cartoon effect in final cut pro and this channel is based on post-production in final cut pro so if you're interested in any kind of video edits or you want to level up your skills in video editing consider subscribing and now let's get into the video all right so here's our clip we're gonna start off by duplicating the clip. So you're gonna hold down option and just drag up. So now you have the clip. And for the top clip, let's take the volume off of these first. Okay, for the top clip, we are going to go to the effects tab and we are going to go to comic looks and we're gonna go to comic vintage. We're gonna just drag that on the first clip. And then we're gonna click here. And here we can just adjust um, how we want the cartoon to look. I'm gonna click on black and white. And I'm gonna go to the fill color. Let's go red. All right, we're gonna go red for that one. And you can adjust however you want the cartoon to look. Right here. And whenever you're ready, just put your playhead back to the beginning and we're gonna add a draw mask. So we're going to go to the effects tab and click mask and we're going to add a draw mask to that. And once the draw mask is here, you want to drag it up in front of the comic vintage. Um, and then we will start to mask. And with the mask, try to uh, take your time and try to be precise. I'm going to fast forward through this um, so I won't waste you guys' time, but just try to be as accurate as you can. All right, um, whenever you're finished with that, you are going to go over here to the draw mask and you can feather it if you want, feather it in, feather it out, um, just according to whatever your footage is looking like. And uh, we're going to add keyframes to the transforms and the control points. So these two right here. And we're just gonna scrub through our timeline. So we're gonna go like every four frames just to align the uh, draw mask. So, So one, two, three. Let's see stuff is already moving right here. So we just adjust every time he moves. Um, this is the tedious part about this effect, but these are the effects that also separate you as a video editor. So, um, the more patient you are with this is the better the effect will be. But just for the sake of this video, I will not take my time. Um, do not follow my lead with this. You guys should take your time, but I'm just doing this just for the sake of the video. So I'm just gonna rush through this right quick just to show you how the effect would look. Okay, once you are done with the keyframing part, um, let's try, let's take a look at it. Looks okay. Looks all right. Um, we can make some adjustments. I just did a rough 
mask, but you can just be as precise as you can. And if you didn't like the color, you can go back and change the color of your subject. And also with this effect, you want to make sure your subject is moving just a little bit just so you can mask precisely. As you can see, it was a tedious effect to work on, but um, the end result is what really matters. So um, it's a really cool effect. Um, some of the spots aren't as fully masked like I wanted to, but that's why I say this is a tedious mask and you should take your time. But I just did that just for the sake of the tutorial, just to save you guys some time. And um, if this video helps you in any way, consider liking and consider subscribing. Um, we will be dropping a lot of content, so be ready. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Everybody have a great day. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys soon.